Well, staying with the theme of health, let's bring a bit of health inspiration in the kitchen with yet another inspiring Be Well recipe. Now, very few foods are as warm and comforting as, think about this one, a good healthy curry, right? Yes, yes, we all agree. Now, this poached aubergine and fish curry is a hearty and delicious meal. It's going to please the crowd, and it's packed with anti-inflammatory superfoods, omega-3 from Be Well Canola Oil, and the fatty fish poached with fiber-rich aubergine in a spice-infused tomato. Delicious. It is delicious. Hey. And you know what, Tubsy? You're mm -hmm. going to be on aubergine duty. Yes. Get that all sliced up and ready for us. Mm -hmm. And I'll start the base of our curry. So okay. I'm going to be using our be well canola oil uh -huh. it is of course high in omega-3s mm -hmm. it is gmo free it's endorsed by the heart and stroke foundation of south africa mm -hmm. and it also has that approved seal from cancer so i'm going to start off with our mustard seeds uh -huh. There we so go. So all those superfoods, I mean, they're coming through bit by bit, right? Our whole cumin, yebo, mm. as well as our curry leaves, because what is a curry without some curry leaves? It's nothing. It doesn't no, exist. It's just not the same. So we're going to get those just to really fry up a little bit, warm up, release those flavors. Yeah. And then we're going to add some ground cumin. I'm going to add some turmeric as well as cayenne pepper. Mm. Ooh. Along with, how's the chopping coming along? I love turmeric. Oh, yes. Oh, turmeric <gasps> is a lifesaver, Zoe. And then also we'll get those flavors in there with a little bit of ground garlic. There we go. Done. So Do you want... make a lot of curry? I mean, it's winter now. I, I imagine, you know, curry obviously like becomes I very popular. I love curry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not that great at making it, but I'm about to show you how easy it is. I mean, if, if I can make it, it is a foolproof recipe. But well, can you really make it? Is the question. <laughs> <laughs> if we you'll can be, get the onions in the pan, you'll then it's a it curry. Now. There we go. Okay, we're frying up our onions. Of course, you'll mm -hmm. take your time making it. <laughs> just be that. gentle, be patient. I'm going to actually just turn the heat down a little bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. And well, then we're going to add our tomatoes. Yes, lots of tomatoes, of course. There we tomatoes go. rich in anti inflammatory uh, properties, which you really want to make sure that you are plowing into your body, putting all of that goodness into your body. Look at how nicely it all comes together I know. already. I mean, and the color of that is just. I mean, that is what the turmeric also does. It really gives you that warm yellow mm. tone that you love in a curry. And then we're going to add some tomato paste as well as some chili paste. Stunning. Of course, we want our little um, curry to have some bite to it. How's mm. the aubergine slicing they coming along? They come out so good. Look at that. Very nice. Yes. I so love how why, you've why kept have... it quite rustic like that. Yes. And, and I, I mean, you obviously might know, because I don't know why we've decided to go with this. Is it a design thing or is it just so that it does what? Oh, no. So it will naturally open as it softens. Oh, okay. And that's going to be our, like, you know, you want that fleshiness mm. alongside our fish that we're going to use. Nice. So what we've got here is some trout. You can use salmon, mackerel, whatever fish you have on hand, um, or whichever fish you prefer. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little bit of water just to make it a bit saucy. There we Beautiful. go. And the secret to a good curry is really to be patient. We are obviously rushing take through this time. recipe. You take your time. You take your time. Uh, well, there listen, you while you're taking your time, sort of thinking about how and when you're going to be serving this up, we've made it super easy for you to access the recipe. It's on our website. It's expressoshow.com. The ingredients are all there. And yes, you will see as soon as you click on expressoshow.com just how simple and how quick and easy it is to make. I mean, cooking time about 45 minutes, because it is a curry, you want to really slow cook it and make sure that all of the flavors and all of the ingredients do come together in a marriage of flavor and um, yeah well we can't forget our hero ingredient Tubsy so what pass me our uh, aubergine this. thank you We've got our fresh my creation actually, yes there we go mm -hmm. I'm going to add that now but I think yeah you can add it you all can together just put it all in there <laughs> uh, and there's more where that came from thank you, do you have <laughs> <laughs> I cut lots of them Thank you. Um, there you go. Uh, but you want to make sure that you just then get that cooking for 25, say 45 minutes, depending on the heat level that you've got. Just 25. Okay, yeah, cool. with the lid on. Ignore there we the go. 45 minutes if you <laughs> try and do that. Five. There won't be any curry for you to have. 
and uh, it's going to be an embarrassing situation. Okay, uh, well, that's what here it looks like. And this is our finished product. The amazing thing is you can serve this with some cooked brown rice. Uh -huh. You can maybe serve it on a sweet potato. Um, you know, like a little half a sweet potato. Oh, <laughs> yes. We so we will. Listen, this is definitely perfect for someone who is wanting to host and give curry a bit of a twist. That looks amazing. Here Once again, expressoshow.com. Thank you very much. Be well for this inspiring, healthy and hearty recipe.